Now we're going to talk to Eric Bollard. He's with Media Matters, and he's Media Matters is tracking these guys. They're all over them. So uh, a lot of fun stories from the conference, I imagine. Eric, uh, welcome back. Hey, thanks for having me. All right, so we got these uh, corny uh, teleprompter jokes. Those, yeah, those are yeah. awesome. It's like the Catskills opening act, you know. <laughs> well, we'll be here all week, everybody. <laughs> Don't forget to tip your uh, wages. They're working hard for you. All right, so uh, what, what else is going on? I hear there was a surprise uh, appearance by someone today. Right, well, Liz Cheney was there, and then at the end of her speech, she brought out Dick Cheney, and the place goes crazy, and and uh, I guess the, the the headline was he announced that Obama was a, a one-term president, um, and so uh, it's Cheney has just demolished any sort of protocol that ever existed for former vice presidents. I mean, he is just he's just I mean, he's just this partisan hack. I mean, it's really amazing because if you think back to Al Gore, Al Gore, who you would argue, you know, had the White House uh, taken away from him. Uh, he waited two years, never didn't say boo about the Bush White House. And then you remember he gave this incredibly insightful and um, uh, dead-on uh, speech about why we shouldn't go to the war with Iraq. And the Beltway pundits went crazy, he called him an egomaniac. Why can't he stay out of the spotlight? And, you know, he, he's just this, you know, partisan hack, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, those rules don't apply to Dick Cheney, and now he's going around talking about how Obama won't get reelected. You know, but obviously that was, you know, that was red meat for CPAC. Uh, so so, so they're, they're, they're always insufferable. They're particularly insufferable when the pendulum seems to be swinging, swinging their way. You know, I was talking to my dad about this, and he says, look, the, uh, the reason that we have this protocol in the country of where if you're a former president or vice yeah. president that you step out of the... Uh, spotlight is because in other countries, uh, it, like for example in Turkey, where my dad's from, yeah, where right. I'm from, uh, it leads to it, people never leave, and That's right. right, and so they keep fighting and fighting and fighting, and they keep trying to seize power again. Right, right, right. And and but that leads to my next question, which I, I think the most important thing that Dick Cheney said was when somebody shouted out Cheney 2012, he said a welcome like that, and they were cheering him, of course. A welcome like that is almost enough to make me want to run for office again. <laughs> uh, but, Eric, I think he's dead serious. I don't know if you noticed uh, in Sarah, uh, when they asked him about yeah, Sarah yeah, yeah, Palin, yeah, right. he took a shot at her he did, he when did, he didn't right. need to. Yeah, she, she didn't really seem to be impressing Dick Cheney very much. I think uh, he's going to run. I, 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 you know, it would be fascinating. When, I mean, he, he, I, I'm not joking when I, because I've, I've gone back and looked at the polls in uh, uh, early January of 2009. He was at 12% approval rating. I mean, you cannot make that up. He he was that that broke every conceivable. I mean, Nixon left office. He was at like twenty one, nineteen percent. I mean, Dick Cheney rewrote the <laughs> the history books, um, which is another interesting thing in terms of you know watching his his uh, his his uh, act for the last year. The press never you know points out though. By the way, he's probably the most despised politician in America. So I don't know. Maybe he's really in a cocoon, and he only talks to the same four or five people. And maybe he thinks, you know, he's he's got the he's got the right stuff after all. Well, I, I be look, fascinating. Well, my guess is that he's hoping for some sort of large terrorist attack, uh, and he's almost cheerleading for it every time he goes on TV. He's like, "Oh, it could happen! It could happen! Oh yeah, boy, I mean, it'd be be, amazing!" Between him, between him, practically, you know, itching for a terrorist attack. And then, and Peggy Noonan practically begging for 18 percent unemployment in her columns. I mean, it's really watch. It's really odd to watch the conservative media, um, basically just licking their chops, just rooting for bad news. Of course, during Bush, that was the claim they made against liberals. You know, they they want you know they want us to lose the war in Iraq. But now, I mean, they, they just you know we we capture Al Qaeda leaders this week. You don't hear anything about that. You know. Single home housing starts are up. You know, Fox News won't touch that. It, it's it's a it's a peculiar phenomenon to watch. Uh, Eric, what else is going on at CPAC? Uh, you know, is well, there... I mean, this is just the opening act. I mean, we're going to have Glenn Beck. Remember, remember last year, Media Matters really made this a big deal because we we kept posting all these videos all uh, all over the CPAC weekend last week last year. And then remember, you know, Rush Limbaugh did his. Uh, you know, silk shirt, black blazer, uh, bouncer routine. <laughs> That's what I can't. Remember. I think it was John Stewart said he looked like a bouncer at a nightclub. Uh, and remember, he went on for an hour and a half, and he, he was sweating and puffing, and all this great, you know, right wing rhetoric. And and uh, so we're going to have Glenn back. I mean, he's going to be the keynote, and it's going to be, 
uh, I assume he's going to out, out crazy Limbaugh, and uh, we, I have no idea what he's going to say. Well, uh, but it's it's only going to get more interesting, and it's only going to get crazier. Uh, and it would be nice if once you know the press would actually highlight this stuff and say, you know what, this is sort of weird. Because <laughs> you remember at the first, you know, what was called the first yearly coast, the first net roots, um, you know, liberal blogger convention. I mean, they were they were. They were like they had their microscopes out looking for you know any signs of anger or you know fiery rhetoric. They, they were the press was just dying to label that sort of as a mob scene, and they never found any the whole time. It was all very serious and you know fun and uh, but respectable. But then they go to CPAC and it's like they have these blinders on and they 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 just won't even report the pure craziness that goes on there every year. Eric, uh, when, when does Beck speak? I think that's Saturday night, I think. I'm, okay. I'm almost positive. All right. That should be fun to watch for. Eric Bolt from Media Matters, thanks for keeping us uh, informed on that. We appreciate Talk to you it. soon.